YouTube. <coughs> Whoa. Hey YouTube, you're back with Liv, me, um, and I'm coming to you with a hair review. Yeah, so I'm here to do a hair review on anywhere wigs. This is the box that it came in. I took this thing off because it's like wrapped around it. Um, I already have one other annual way to review on my channel, which is the curly hair. Um, but now I'm doing the straight hair. So the wig came in this box, pretty basic. Um, it came with inside of this bag. Um, this was inside, and this was around it. As you usually get, like standard wigs. Um, and then they gave me uh, a weaving mesh cap. I don't ever use. Oh gosh, I don't ever use these things. Um, I don't know why. I just don't. To me, I don't think it does much, like effectively anyway. Um, lashes. I haven't got lashes with a wig in such a long time. So I mean, I don't use them, but. You know, it's nice of the four, you know. Um, then they gave me a file. I actually needed a nail file, so I'm like buzzing about it. Like, I needed a file, but I just didn't want to go buy one, you know. Um, then they sent me this cute little message. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's just so long, but they sent me a message uh from nancy um and that's everything that was inside of the box and the wig obviously so the specs about there uh this is the straight lace front um this was 26 inches let me try like stand up so you can see it reaches about my hip um i'm wearing shorts on i am clothed before like everyone starts doing this but yeah 26 inches 130 density and it's the 13 by 4 lace front i thought i was gonna have an issue with it being 13 by 4 but it's okay i was trying to look for a 13 by 6 because i prefer like a long like a lot of lace base so i can do what i want but i mean i feel like i was able to have a lot of flexibility with it still I mean, but it's getting stuck to my zip. But yeah, so um, you may see like a little ripple right here. That's because I went to work yesterday and I put it up in one. And yeah, that's what happens when you put your hair up in one and you forget to take the hairband out. So yeah, this wig cost me £139.43 altogether. I think that's quite cheap. That's just me. I think that's quite cheap. Um, very affordable. Um, yeah, and it's just beautiful hair. Like my brush always just glides through it. Look, like no tugging. Look, you see that? And look at the shine. You can see the the shine on the hair. I've only washed this hair once since I got it, and I got it for Christmas. I wore it over Christmas, and girl, did it look bomb, like. The only thing, the only bad thing that I have to say about this hair is that uh, after like a few hours of straightening it and like, you know, what you do to straighten hair, this, that and the other, it just started acting a bit funny. Like towards the end, it was like, I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't acting like hair it started acting a bit funny like now i washed it and i used like quite a lot of conditioner um to get it like like this but before it was like split ends sort of thing so like this the ends were fraying it's annoying me the ends were like fraying and you know just acting a bit funny but now that they're like back to how it was, I don't know what that was, but it was having a weird moment. It didn't want to act the way it should do. But yeah, uh, 
what else about this hair the hair is quite good straightens very well whenever i straighten it it's like butter it just uh you know when like you first straighten your hair and like you do like that it just went you know it just looks so hang like ah yes um i don't really wear straight hair i really really don't like i've only wore straight hair to my prom and one other time like i don't wear straight hair so it was interesting that i got straight hair for christmas i guess i wanted to try something new try something different because i'm always wearing like curly hair or like something with a kink in it do you know what i mean so i was like let me try some dead head straight hair so i did and i liked it yeah i liked it quite a lot uh yeah the frontal i bleached the knots because i felt like i wanted to try it i've never bleached my knots before so i was like you know what since we're trying like new things why not bleach my knots so i bleached them um sorry if i'm spinning around so much i just literally realized that i was doing that um but yeah like i bleached my knots uh here i feel like because okay this is the stupid thing that i did i don't have my bleaching equipment with me here because i bleached my other wig ombre and it was back at home like in london my bleach and stuff so i plucked it and all of that stuff here went home so like i plucked the parting and all of that stuff and then i bleached it and i put the like i didn't think about this i put the bleach over the parting that i made and like over everything that i've done so uh and i left it on for quite a long i kind of like i don't want to sound so stupid like i did this in the dead of night and i was like low-key tired and I kind of fell asleep. Yeah, it's a bit tight. It's about tight. I don't know how long I was sleeping for. That's the thing. So I slept. Like, the thing is, yeah, I was sitting on my bed. So I don't know how, like, I just... Do you know what I mean? So I fell asleep. The bleach was on it. It didn't, like, ruin the hair, like, clearly. Like, it's still beautiful. It's still fine. Like the hair has not been damaged nothing like that it just leaked through a little bit like a little teeny weeny bit like a small bit like here and like here but what i did girl to stop like because it was it wasn't bad because after i went over it with the purple shampoo and conditioner like it was mainly gone but i'm gonna show you so i used the max fan no why can't I speak? I use the Max Factor 2000 calorie dramatic volume um, mascara to put over it. So what I would do is I would take the wand and then, because it's quite a, a fine wand, like um, I'm able to like catch the small hairs. So I would just put it along the part in and like go over it just in case like there was any like blonde bits like random leads popping up and that's what i would do so it just looked like you know normal again um i don't have to do it every time i put on the wig because that would just be annoying and then i would be really 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 pissed but i do it like every now and again when like the mascara starts to come off because after i do that i spray it with my got to be spray it's so bright my got to be spray so it holds for longer so it will stay in my hair um which is good very very good i'll let my nails match the the container <laughs> but yeah and oh another thing i tried i tried to do the blow dryer method with um putting on my wig um do i prefer it i don't know it helps with time, 110%, but uh, I don't know if it's for me, I don't know. Because before I would just like put my, um, the got to be, put it around my, like, my forehead and do my makeup. So by the time I've done my makeup, you know, like, it's got tacky, it's got to where I need it to be. And then I just spray it with the, the got to be free spray and then 
put on my wig and then that was that but like now i can put my wig on first and do my makeup after because i don't wear foundation and things like that so i haven't got to worry about it getting into my lace i just literally just do my eyebrows bit of concealer bit of powder that's it like that's it so i can still do my makeup without ruining my lace but yeah that's my review I have nothing bad to say about this hair, like nothing bad at all to say about the hair. It's just beautiful, does what it should, the lace is lovely, like I like the lace, I did a little bit of baby hairs, you know what I mean, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say because the hair is quite good, there's nothing bad about the hair I can say, so I feel like it's quite good. So yeah, that's my hair review on and your wigs. Um, comment down below if there's any other companies that you'd like me to review hair on. Um, oh, I have a surprise for you guys. There's a hair that I'm about to try either next month or either next month or uh the month after. But I'm really gonna try this hair style and girl this is gonna be something new for me because i don't delve into nothing i don't delve into things like that i'm quite simple i'm you know simple you feel me i don't do anything out of the box quite you know normal simple very vanilla ice cream you feel me so i'm gonna be trying something and i hope you guys like it because as soon as I do it, I'm coming right to you guys so you can see it. So that should be interesting. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video. So I'm going to go. I'm going to make some apple crumble because I've been craving it. So I'm going to go make that, eat that, and then I'll see you in my next video. Um... My next video, I don't know which one's going to come out first, either me dyeing my hair ginger or this one, but whichever one comes first, we'll see you in the next one, you feel me? So, bye my dogs. I said that in my last one as well. I need to stop doing that. Bye, Olives.